Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We got a beer here from Caldera Brewing. Caldera Brewing. And they're out of Ashland, Oregon. This is a 6.1 percenter. This is their IPA. Guys, I did this beer. I had somebody send me this beer about five years ago and I, and I reviewed it. I didn't go back and look at the beer review because my palate has changed and what I may have thought was a 9 or a 10 may not be now. So, we're going to Judge, it's like the first time I'd ever had it. Like I said, I had to go back and watch it. I don't remember what I gave this beer. Uh, this comes from Rico. Rico sent this to me. A little note he sent with here says, Best Buy date on the bottom. Uh, and the Best Buy date says 6 17 So, more than likely, they're giving us a six-month shelf life. Uh, again. Do not give an IPA a six month shelf life. It is not going to taste anywhere like what it did. If he put this in the can in January, it's not going to taste anywhere that, that tasty or that hoppy come June. So, right off the bat, the first X beside the box. Not good for a six month shelf life. Second X, that's by day. That's two out of three. Let's see where it ends up. And I'm going to tell you straight up honestly. If it's awesome, I'm going to tell you honestly. This beer is fantastic. It's good. Get it fresh. If it's not, of course, if it was done in January, we don't know. We're just guessing. Some breweries give it longer than a six-month shop life. Eight months. Twelve months. So I don't know. And I went to their website, and it does not say how long a shop life it gives it. And while I'm here on their website, I want to say... It says Moss, Premium Two Row, Munich and Crystal, Hop Simcoe, Centeno, Amarillo, and Mosaic, 6.1%. I'll be used for 94. And that is all it says about this beer. Nothing about the shelf life that they're giving this beer. So, you, they don't want you to know. If they did, they would say that on the, on the site here. Six months shelf life. Guys, I hate these best by dates and used by dates, best before dates. They suck. Want to know when it was put in the freaking can? Tell me that, and then I'll make the damn decision, not you. <sighs> anyway, let's get on with it. I don't want it to be a 30-minute video. Uh, like I said, I have done this beer five years ago. So, like I said, I may have given this a 9 or a 10. I do not recall. That's been a long, long, long time. Too many beers under the bridge. <laughs> So, uh, let's jump back over here and get off their site since that's all the information they're giving us. Uh, and the commercial description basically is saying the same thing here, guys. So, uh, we don't need to talk about anything else. We know the ABV, we know the IBUs, and we know the best before day. We just don't know when in the hell they put it in this freaking can. Alright, got the top open. Cuisines, curry and Thai, cheese and peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp. Uh, blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, gorgonzola, Limburger, meat, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. I will add grilled meat to that. And the glass for the pine becker, non tumbler mug, sign Sidel. I decided to bring the solid beer glass out, my favorite tulip glass. And on, it says he paid $2.25 for this can. Somebody did, whether he was able to get it uh, up there or he traded for it, I don't know. He did not say. And here it, it says, not recommended for extended salary. Another reason to have a canned on date, bottle on date, so I've been enjoyed by best by use by date. Very clear, it's a rich amber color, a darker amber color. It's almost to the red ale characteristics. 
Bottle bubble streaming up, perfectly clear, looks like a filtered beer. Let's whip it to the nose. Guys, the hot presence on this is basically non existent. It already smells malty to me. Man, I hate that. And for the hops, if, I, if they just said they were doing a European style and it had size or Goldings or Tetanang or, or some other European hops, I could see why it's not got that big up in your face. But for the hops they said they use here, Amarillo, Centennial, and Simcoe, it smells too malty for those hops. So in my honest opinion, they are giving this beer a longer than a six month shelf life. Another reason why we got to have the canned on date. Another reason why these guys like this, not just these ones in particular, but a bunch of breweries, put those best by, used by, before by, whatever by dates on there. Because they don't want you to know how old the beer is. And if they're giving it an eight month or a 12 month even shelf life, well, and you pick it up and it's and it's a malt bomb. Are you going to go back and buy it again? Are you going to buy anything from them again if they're using these dates on everything? I'm not. I'm not in that. If I buy the, if I spend my money on this and buy uh, one or even a six pack and they're all malt bombs, I'm probably not going to buy anything else from you guys again. So, no, it's kind of malty, guys. Let's dive in. This is not a fresh beer, guys. I can honestly say, I can guarantee you, this beer was not done in, in, in January. They have, Rico, they are giving their beers longer than a six month shelf life, my friend. Probably either eight month or 12 month shelf life on their beers. And these guys are out of uh, Ashland, Oregon, where they make some damn tasty beers out there on the north uh, west coast over there. I don't understand that. I'm, 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 I'm a little on the disappointed side that uh, I've got a beer that's so malty from there. Maybe a little bit of either some lemon zest or orange rind in there. And just a hint of some citrusy, citrusiness in there. Strong bitterness to this. Yeah, I can see why. 94 IBUs on a 6.1%. It's over bitter. It shouldn't have a 91 bitterness on a 6.1%. You don't need that much bittering hops. For 6.1 percent, there's not enough. Mo that's a, that's a double IPA uh, bitterness. 94. Not impressed. Not impressed at all. Would I buy this beer again? I didn't buy it to begin with. Would I buy it if I seen it sitting on the shelf with the dating it's got on it? Probably not. Rico, I'm sorry, my friend. Not giving any of the alcohol, I will say that, but it does have a heavy maltiness to the beer. Sad. That is sad. I'm going to sip on it, let her taste it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little bit left. I gave most of it to the other half. This is a malty mess already. Uh, not impressed at all with this beer. They could do better. I don't care. Unimpressive. I brew better beer than this. Uh, guys, for me, it's a four. That's where I'm going to put it. Uh, in the scale, 75. 
that's where I'm going to put this beer. And I know they make good beer because I've seen some of the ratings and comments on this beer. Unfortunately, Rico has bought this beer and being the freshest he could probably get his hands on, it is not a fresh beer. And if this is a fresh beer, <laughs> I could go to work here and make a better beer than this. Alright, we'll run over to Beer Advocate. They say 89. Very good. Disagree. Probably is when it's fresh. And over to Rate Beer, overall 95, 94 in the style. That's what, that's what tells me these guys can make a, a good beer. But putting this use by Best Buy date on it has, uh, has its limitations when you're buying a beer that's already six months old, probably. So, or even older, maybe even eight months old, I'm not sure. All right, final check-in. Untapped has it at 3.67, which is in their B range. So, pretty, pretty damn sure that this is an old beer. And with still having March, April, May, June, and that's what they've got on it. Uh, still got three months left on it before it's best, before date. Uh, that tells me they're giving it longer than a six-month shelf life. If it was three months old, it would still have more hot presence than it does. And if it was eight months old, it would probably have still a little bit of a hot presence. So I think they're giving this beer a year, a year shelf life. I'm just my opinion because it doesn't say on. I went to their website, it doesn't say. So this may have been canned on uh, on June of 2016. How are we supposed to know without a canned on date? You're just we're just guessing. We're just guessing. And like I said earlier, would I buy this beer? No. Nope. Rico, I'm sorry, my friend. You wasted your money on this one. All right. If you've had it, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm just sad that uh, these guys can probably brew a better beer and do brew a better beer than this because the ratings don't reflect what I've got here. So, you had it. Let me know what you think, guys. Sure hope we can get a better beer than this tomorrow. See you then.